If you have a potato for your GPU, this model might be for you. What? They dropped the big one too? Sweet. Black Forest Labs just released a new open source version of Flux called Flux Klein. It's fast. It's light. It's open source. Well, as open source as Flux models get these days. In this video, you'll learn how to use Flux Klein, how it compares to Z Image Turbo, is its license truly open, and is it censored? Let's find out. Okay, so Flux Klein is a new model in the Flux family, and its goal is to be fast. There are two workflows currently available, text to image and also image edit. The last one is supposed to be similar to Quen Edit or, or C-Dream, where you can input an image and reference it to create all sorts of new images. And that's a pretty cool nifty feature that we didn't used to have back in the days. To use it, let's make sure that your Comfy UI is updated. You got to get the latest version. All the nodes you need are already waiting for you in the updated Comfy because it's all running core Comfy. A lot is running core Comfy these days, which is pretty sweet. So make sure that you update your Comfy right now. So there are four models available and that might bring a little confusion to you, but let's check that in a bit, right? So you can find them all plus workflows in the link below. It's all free. Don't worry about that. So the models, right? First, there are two like architectures. There's 4B and 9B. So bigger number, better mold, right? And then inside of those, we have a 4B base and we have a 4B distilled. And then we have a 9B base and a 9B distilled. So before you go and download all of them, here's a quick reminder, right? And like I said, bigger number, better model, but also heavier on your system or actually on your VRAM. So the distilled models are faster, but if you want to train, you got to use the base models. And just to understand the faster part, it's not like they, they, they speed your system up, but they can run on lower step counts. So even if your iterations per second might be the same, the steps are lower, so you get your image quicker. So pick one of these four and put in your folder under Comfy UI slash models slash diffusion models. And if you're like, hey, Seb, I have no idea. Which one should I pick? Just tell me, just tell me. I'd start with the 4B distilled for anything under 16 gigs of VRAM, or if you just want maximum speed. But if your GPU is good and quick, get the 9B distilled. You can still run the 9B distilled on a lower end system, but it'll be a little slower as, as it offloads to your system RAM. So I think you should at least have like 32 gigs of system RAM. If you don't have that, probably want to go with the 4B distilled one, right? That's your diffusion models, but you'll also need a text encoder. In this case, we're going to be using Quen 3 4B. That's where the smaller model and also Quen 3 8B if you're doing the 9B, the bigger model. So the bigger number to bigger model. And that one goes under models slash text encoders. And you also need the Flux 2 VAE that goes under models forward slash VAE. It's all going to be in, in the link below. Now, it's as simple as dragging and dropping the workflow into Comfy. And if you update it, yes, you need to update to the latest version. I told you. Everything should just work. For reference, today I'm generating on a potato with 8 gigs of VRAM and 32 gigs of system RAM. So my main system has 24 gigs of VRAM and 64 gigs of system RAM. And that covers most use cases for me. So let's find out what we can run on 8 gigs of VRAM and 32 system RAM here, right? And here's a reminder, if you like chatting about this type of stuff, like I do, check out our AI Discord in the links below. Okay, let's generate a portrait with the 4B distilled. Now, I'm very curious about how the skin looks, right? Flux 1 is known for very plastic looking skin and also a lot of uh, Flux chins, which Flux 2 worked towards fixing. So let's see if this smaller one fixes that. Right, so we have a couple of generations here. So the skin is definitely not completely 100% natural looking. It's still kind of smooth, but it's still better than, than Flux 1. I'd say it's a little bit between the full version of Flux 1 and 2, but, and that's a big but, we do have a bigger problem that came back from the prehistoric AI era, the fingers. I think I should have at least five, right? So what is that? I feel like I just time traveled to 2024. Overall, the image isn't super sharp, but again, this is like 
This is the 4B distill. This is for speed. Now, if we compare this to the 9B distilled, you'll be happy to hear that the fingers are good to go on this one. The time it took to generate this is due to Flux. Previously, Flux had a Schnell model, and that one filled the role of being fast. But this one is a step up for sure regarding speed. And also try the 4B base. Um, the fingers are a little better there, and the quality slightly better. It's not a huge difference. It's more that, you know, you're running a few more steps on, on the base model. Now, the 9B base did not successfully run on this 8 gig VRAM potato. So this is all nice and good. But how does it compare to Seekimage Turbo or Quen for that matter? Firstly, the speed. Well, for me, 4B does still end up being six seconds faster than Seekimage Turbo, almost twice as fast, while 9B does still was the same speed as Seekimage Turbo. And 4B base ended up being like four times longer than C image. But again, it's the step counts that matter. It's it's not about like the iteration speed so much here. Now all that speed is just talk though. At this point, the quality ends up being more important. And well, it's, especially for images, right? The image doesn't take too long. If it weren't for the fingers, I say the flux kind 4B distill could actually rival C image. At least a terrible one. We haven't seen the big one yet. But it's day one. 9B distill, on the other hand, is, well, I mean, you can zoom in to both and maybe pick up that Flux has slightly more detail, which is, well, barely noticeable. But that is not why Flux wins here, right? Flux Klein fixes a problem that C-Image Turbo has. Well, if you have a prompt and you keep generating the same thing with C-Image, you get images that look pretty much the same. And, well, if you do this with Flux, well, Flux doesn't have this issue too much as it will generate unique generations every time to that prompt, which is kind of cool. Now, is this model censored? At the moment, it seems like it is trained or at least limited to mostly safe for work content. Now, what about the licenses, Seb? Is this fully open source and free for all in terms of licensing? Well, yes and um, no. The 4B models are completely open source, which is great news, although the community will have to pull some weight in order to fix the finger problem in the distilled version. Or maybe it's just me. I don't know. Maybe you have great fingers in your uh, images. Now, the 9B, on the other hand, has a custom license, which is not fully open source per se. You're allowed to modify it and create LoRa's only non-commercially, and you can use image outputs commercially. However, it's not allowed to create any not safe for work content. Again, this does not apply for the 4B though. You can do anything you want with that one. Now, before we wrap this up, let's take a quick look at the image edit workflow. There are two options here. Either you use one input image or two, which will enable you to combine inputs. Use so for, you know, mockups or just playing them out. I don't know. You do whatever you want. With this workflow, you can change, add, remove objects and scenes your images. In this case, we're just going to change this person's clothes to a bathrobe for a quick test. And that's pretty sweet. So this is Flux Klein. It's a nifty little model that I'll probably keep in my toolbox whenever I need to do something on a fast note. You know, we'll see how this evolves. As with all models day one, we have no idea how they're going to evolve over time. If the community starts creating cool workflows and then lures to them. Should you use it over a image turbo at this point, you have to try both yourself and decide as the results are very close. Maybe you can help me decide in the comments. And uh, all right, uh, that's all for today. And I'll see you beautiful people in the next one.